Hey everybody, welcome back. So after heat treating or annealing the Filicube HT PLA Plus and finding it became considerably more impact resistance after annealing it, I started thinking, well, will that work for a regular PLA too? Will it become more impact resistant after annealing it? So I have here one of my favorite brands of cheap PLA. This is 3D Solutech, just standard PLA. It's black. This is the same PLA, except in brown, that I had in my um, in my regular PLA impact test. And I'll put a link in the cards above to the playlist for my impact test. The um, the filler cube is in there as well as the regular PLA test. So let's print some of my impact pieces up. Let's heat treat some of them and some of them we won't. And let's take them out and see if annealing it will really make regular PLA more impact resistant. Okay, now that our parts are printed, I have four identical parts printed out of the same PLA on the same printer at the exact same time. I have marked two of them with an X on the inside. hope you can see that because I can't. <laughs> And two of them have an X on the inside, the other two don't. So, let's get these in here. And I'm going to heat treat these the same way I did the last ones. I did 220 at 5 minutes, so let's do that again. 220 degrees, 220 degrees Fahrenheit at 5 minutes. And when it reaches the end of its five minutes, I'll pull the plug on it so it doesn't auto cool down. And then I'll just let it sit for an hour or so to um, cool down normally. Okay, here we are. I got all four of our parts out here. I got the two with the X's on the inside to show they've been heat treated. And the two without. So let's get started. I am going to zoom in on that so you get a better look and then I will once again try to um, count the drops and probably get it wrong. You can count for me. Alright, do I got it? There we go. Sorry about that. A little bit over. I'm not doing a very good job there, am I? Okay, here we go. Unheat treated right off the printer. Well, not right off the printer, a couple of hours ago. One. Did that break it? Nope. Go off the back of the bench. You know, I ought to put something back there so they don't fall off the back of the bench because that's a pain in the ass when they do. Two. Up, oh, that split right down the middle. Can you see that? It's way too close. See that? Split right down the middle. Let's go till we have it nice and smashed though. I think that's only fair. And that's why I did two of each so a fluke wouldn't throw the results off. Probably should have done more, but. All right, there we go. <laughs> we have a chunk broke right out of the middle of it now. There we go. Let's do the other unheat treated one. Again, this one has no X, so it wasn't heat treated either. Let's see if we have about the same result. One. Is that chunk coming out? That might have been kind of a fluke. We'll see. I don't think I've ever got more than four or five hits out of these standard cheap old PLA ones without a break. Two. Three. That didn't sound very good. Yep. Did the exact same thing. Can you see it? Broke a chunk out. Let's give it one more just for um, sport and amusement. And we like to see parts fly around. We like destruction here. Oh, that was a good one. Whoa, I enjoyed that. 
Look at that. <laughs> oh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was fun. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Get any pieces of it out of there. Heat treated part. Let's see what happens to it. All right, heat treated part number one, drop one. We still in the. We still in the. Nope, we're kind of out, aren't we? There we go. Whoa, one hit and it's toast. Whoa. Hey, that was also impressive. Wow. One hit and it is toast. Blew it up real good. Well, let's try the other one. This is proving to be both instructive and rather enjoyable. Heat treated part number two, drop one. We still in the frame, we are. Whoa! So. <laughs> oh, oh, that was fun. That was fun. Okay, so. Does heat treating your standard cheapo PLA help? Hell no, it doesn't. Not only doesn't it help, but it actually seems to make it worse. At least as far as impact testing was concerned. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did because I really did enjoy this. Please um, hit notifications, like, subscribe, all that crap. And I will catch you all the next time. Bye for now.